Hey guys, I'm Justin Davis from Drone Camps RC. We're an official DJI dealer in the United States. And today we're going to talk about the top 25 asked questions for the Phantom 3. There's a lot of questions out there on our YouTube channel and on Facebook and in the forums. So we'd like to narrow it down to the most basic questions asked. If you'd like to look for uh, more of these, you can check out DJI.com. They also have an FAQ on their website. You can go through some of these. So let's get started with the first and most basic question people are asking. With the Phantom 2, they want to know if they can use their Phantom 2 batteries with the Phantom 3. The answer is no, they're not available for use. Um, because the new Phantom 3 actually uses a 4S battery, there's quite a bit more voltage running inside there on the Phantom 3 because we're now incorporating Lightbridge and some other components. So uh, these are not backwards or forward compatible. So keep that in mind when you're buying your new Phantom 3 to get yourself an extra battery. Uh, moving on to number two, how long is the flight time on the Phantom 3? Right now we're looking at 23 minutes respectively reported from DJI at the release of the Phantom 3. Uh, number three is what is the difference between the Phantom 3 Professional and the advanced version? So the biggest difference is the camera. Let's go ahead and talk about the cameras. The advanced version has that 1080p camera with a 12 megapixel still and the professional version is the 4K camera uh, and also at 12 megapixels still. The other difference between the two different versions is the battery charger. So with the professional edition you're going to get a 100 watt battery charger. It's going to give you a little quicker charge on your battery and with the advanced version you're going to get it looks like a, a 57 watt charger for that. So it's going to be a little slower charge on the battery uh, and that's the, the, the biggest differences right away. So moving on to number four, can I remove my camera or add my own GoPro? Uh, no you cannot. It's only compatible with the Phantom 3 camera camera on the on the Phantom 3 and that's the 4k camera so uh, moving on to number five can I charge both the controller and the battery at the same time DJI does not recommend doing that it does have a cable that's going to be included with it that's going to have two cables on there for your convenience so that you can have one charger uh, with you at all times for for both items so let's not let's not uh, do that at the same time just make sure you don't do that number five Excuse me, number six, uh, what are the two buttons on the back of the controller for? So right away on the back of the controller, if you notice this new controller looks different than the old Phantom style controllers. We've actually had an upgraded style transmitter. Now we have the Lightbridge, or excuse me, uh, the Inspire 1 style controller with this. And we have customizable buttons on the back that you can go into the software and put your own functions on those buttons. So pretty nice for the Phantom series. Moving on to number seven. How far away can I fly it? Well, right now we can fly it depending on environmental factors um, such as wind or, or uh, other, other obstacles. Uh, about 1.2 miles or 2 kilometers away is, is how far we can fly the Phantom 3 with this new Lightbridge setup. Number 8. What app do we use with the Phantom 3? The cool thing about this Phantom 3 is now we're going to be using the DJI Pilot app and that is the same app that comes with the Inspire 1. The features will be different. When you start it up and connect it to your Phantom 3, you're going to notice that the app is going to automatically change to suit the Phantom 3. So now we're all on the same app uh, and it will, it will recognize the, the copter that you load up to it. So pretty cool. And um, number nine, which mobile devices are compatible with the Phantom 3? Let's talk about the different mobile devices. We're going to show those on the screen for you now. For iOS, we're talking iPhone 5, 5S, iPhone 6, iPhone 6 Plus, the iPad Air, iPad Air with Wi-Fi and cellular, the iPad Mini 2, iPad Mini 2 plus the Wi-Fi and cellular, uh, the iPad Air 2, iPad Air 2 plus Wi-Fi and cellular, the iPad Mini 3, and the iPad Mini 3 with Wi-Fi and cellular. So it's optimized for the iPhone 5S, iPhone 6, and iPhone 6 Plus. They all work on there. Now we're going to talk about Android really quickly. A lot of people have the Galaxy uh, S4 and they're wondering if that's going to work on there. No, not yet. We do have support for the S5, the Note 3, Sony Xperia Z3, the Google Nexus 7 II, and the Google Nexus 9, the Mi3, the Nubia Z7 Mini. So more devices are going to become available for the Phantom 3 
in the future as we get new firmware updates from DJI. And moving on to number 10, uh, does the app include a video editor? It does include a video app. If you go into the editor, uh, you can do that by going into the pilot app, tap director from the home screen, and then you can select a template and add your clips. So you can immediately share to YouTube or other social media sources. Number 11, can the sticks be customized to use the flight mode I want? Yes, the default is set to a standard mode two on that, uh, which means the throttle will be on the left-hand side. That's what a lot of folks use in the United States. And mode one will put the throttle on the right-hand side. So normally we'd like to stick to mode two. Now, number 12, can I use a Phantom 2 or Vision Controller on the Phantom 3? No, you cannot. Number 13, what if my Phantom does not turn off immediately after I shut the battery down? This is pretty normal with the Phantom 3, so it takes a minute just to power down the whole system and light bridge and turn everything off. This is completely normal. Uh, this also prevents data loss from your video. Number 14, does the Phantom support multiple controllers? No, the Phantom 3 does not support dual controllers or any other setups like that. It only connects one controller at a time. Uh, number 15, what does the PAF switch do? The PAF switch is your mode switch, which is going to switch you into P mode uh, for positioning mode, lets you activate both the GPS and the visioning system work together simultaneously. Uh, and the A mode is for attitude, so you get only stabilization on that mode for the copter. Uh, it does not run in GPS on that one, but you will still have returned home if there is a GPS signal available. Also, F mode activates IOC, Intelligent Orientation Control. You want to read more about that and IOC in the manual. Number 15, what size SD card does the Phantom 3 come with? It comes with a 16 gigabyte a micro SD card and the max size will be 64 gigabytes. Number 16, how can I restore video if the power is turned off while I'm still recording? Do not remove the SD card, DJI says. You want to turn the Phantom 3 back on and wait 30 seconds till the, till the file is restored. So if you wait 30 seconds after you turn it back on, it'll, it'll, it'll finish that video file for you and it'll complete it. Uh, number 17, what's the best way to land my Phantom 3 smoothly? Uh, you can land your Phantom 3 on any hard flat surfaces. We've talked about this before to our customers land on a piece of plywood or on a nice flat soft uh, or hard packed piece of concrete. And number 18, why is the discharge time of a battery not zero even though I haven't used it? When you get this, every battery from DJI is now tested prior to shipping so that's completely normal. Uh, it affects the discharge time of a new battery. And it's the reason that the time is not zero, so the battery is safe to use. Number 19, can the Phantom 3 mobile device holder be used on Phantom 2 controllers? A lot of people have been asking us about that, and no, it cannot. Uh, it cannot be taken off the new Phantom 3 controller and put on the Phantom 2 controllers. Uh, sorry about that. Number 20, what is the current Phantom 3 shipping time? So DJI is right now saying that it's going to be first batch is going to be the end of April uh, to mid-May and possibly second batch will be later May to into June. Number 21 is can the Phantom do follow me? So it cannot do follow me from the DJI app that currently exists uh, from DJI Pilot but there are other apps out there in the app store. If you go look up this one called Autopilot, it does have Follow Me and Orbit and a host of other features that you've probably never seen before available in the Phantom 3. Um, that Phantom 3 app is still being produced by the developers, so um, the newer version of that will come out. Right now it's compatible with the Phantom Vision Plus, so um, look for that coming up in the app store. Number 22, what frequency does the Phantom 3 operate on? It operates on 2.4 gigahertz with a maximum distance of 2,000 meters, outdoors and unobstructed. Number 23, will the new controller hold my iPad or tablet? Yes, it will. There is a new larger uh, expandable holder on the radio, so you can put your new iPad Air on there, uh, probably without the case on it. So you're going to look for that on your new Phantom 3 as well. Number 24, is the new Phantom 3 waterproof? 
Unfortunately, it's not. It's not waterproof, and we don't recommend flying it near the ocean or uh, too close to uh, bodies of water. So, number 25, this is some drone camps information for you and some advice. Which version should you buy? It depends on what, your, uh, what you want to get from the camera. So if you're a professional, you're, you're filming in LA and, and other uh, cinema quality needs, I would probably go for the, the 4K version. That's going to be the best version for you. Most video, most videographers and photographers are going to uh, want that version. Um, also, to see better details, we're talking about uh, two to three hundred feet up with your 4K version. You're going to be able to see that trees on the ground are indeed trees. If you're shooting with 1080p, the trees might look more like green blobs in the video than uh, than actual trees. With a 4K, when the wind's blowing, you can see the trees swaying uh, in the wind, and it's it's pretty nice detail on the 4K camera. So that's it, guys. The top 25 questions asked by customers about the Phantom 3. If you're looking for more information about the Phantom 3, make sure you check out our channel. We're always updating and adding new things about it as the information becomes available to us. So thanks again for watching the Drone Camps RC channel. Hopefully we helped you out today and answered some of your questions. I'm Justin Davis from Drone Camps. Please click subscribe. <music>